In this tutorial, um, we're going to use our, our GT, Opel GT inspired uh, sketch to create a, a Photoshop render of the design. And the first thing that I want to do is fix our, our sketch a little bit. There's already a few things I can see that I don't like that much. So I'm just going to use a simple selection here and um, fix a few things that I don't like. So I just duplicate this part of the sketch with control, shift and copy. The reason why I'm doing this is, is flat and copy at the same time. Yeah? So I can, I can simulate this as well for you very quickly. If we have two layers here, one is blue and one is our sketch. If I create a selection and I simply go control copy and control paste, Photoshop will just bring in what's been on the current active layer, right? But if I do the same thing, I create a selection and go copy control, uh, control shift copy and bring this in, it will basically bring in everything, every single layer which is lying in the, in the, in the selection. So it's compressing everything, um, which is a great advantage. So yeah, I'm going to do that. So I, I go into the sketch here and I duplicate a few of these elements, which I think we can adjust a little bit, copy this. And now I transform it simply with the skew function here. And by holding down Alt, yeah, you're skewing around the center again, rather than randomly screwing it, skewing at the top. So let's uh, escape for now and do this again. And I think it'd be nicer, let me zoom in for you guys to see, if the section at the front here would talk a little bit more to our, our front intake here. So I quickly adjust this. Skew, hold down Alt, and just make it fit our design a little bit more. Move it a little bit forward. Trying to put it back into place roughly. It's a bit tall now, so it's make it a bit shorter here. And shift it a little bit more so it goes almost parallel. Confirm. Move it around. You can zoom out again. But you can see the change, yeah. It sits a bit far forward now. So I'll just give it a bit more nose here. Then we can connect this later. We can shift this up a little bit so we meet our, our line again. And then with a soft eraser, just blend it back into our, our sketch and you won't really see the difference. Yep, just a quick fix right here. And then the other thing that I can see straight away is, is the cabin volume. We've been talking about the GT being a low sleek vehicle, um, but I think I've been a little bit too aggressive here, maybe in some areas, especially here in the back. I think we can afford a little bit more volume over the rear wheel just to give it a little bit more, like a little bit more reality, the whole image. Um, so I'm gonna cut the cabin all the way around here. like this, and then I copy it onto a separate layer and transform it. And what I'm doing now, I, I, I like where my A pillar is and where the windscreen is, so I'm going to move the pivot of rotation to the A pillar root here, and then just tilt up the back end a little bit. Yeah. Just give it a bit more volume over the back here, reduce that spoiler a little bit. And just so it sits a bit nicer. Maybe we make it a bit taller as well yeah, for actually somebody to fit in our car. Just like that. And then you can just go in with a, with a white brush and, and, and blend it into your sketch quickly just to fix it. Keep, keep, um, keep the overview. So we just quickly fix it here.
get rid of our old DLO. Yeah, and now you can see the the new cabin. Yeah. Just quickly repair the volume. Yeah, and now I think we have already a, a little bit more realistic impression of our car. I'm going to flatten this down so we have one one sketch layer. Maybe I keep one as a reference for later. So hide that. Merge those layers and then don't forget now to update your top layer as well. The top layer is still old. So we delete this one and create a duplicate of our new sketch at 20% at the top. Yeah, we created a pretty complete side view render in, in four stages, going through proportions, fixing, fixing the initial sketch, then shading our volumes, creating our graphics on top of that, and then just finish the sketch off with some nice weird details, light details, and, and, and rocker details. <laughs> 